Hello everyone, welcome into another FIFA 23 Tactics video. I'm Ash, or Brahma18, and today I've got another Tactics replication video for you. We are going to discuss Arsene Wenger's Invincibles Tactics, the 4-4-2 system of the 2003-2004 system that, of course, won the Premier League title with it in emphatic fashion going the entire season unbeaten. If you're new to the channel, welcome along. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. Lots of fantastic content around for you. So I think you guys will really enjoy it. With regards to this 4-4-2 formation, I'm going to go through obviously the position changes of which there are a couple. We'll talk about the custom tactics and also the player instructions. Before we get into that, let me quickly say, if you haven't done so already, you want to see how this tactic ranks compared to all of the other systems I've covered on the channel, suitable teams to players with the tactic strengths and weaknesses, and a whole lot more. Check out my Patreon because on there you can get access to my FIFA 23 custom tactics package, as well as exclusive tactics videos that you'll only find on Patreon, like Will Steel Stad Ram, like Xavi Alonso's Bayer Leverkusen, like uh, Ange Postacoglu Celtic, and a whole lot more as well as a whole host of other perks and rewards, Discord server access, fancy football league access, early access to videos, behind the scenes videos, and a whole lot more. I can't go any longer. Now that we've got the housekeeping out of the way, let's talk about what you're all here for. That is the system. So we've got this 4-4-2 system. There are a few position changes. You want to go with either the 4-4-2 holding or flat. It doesn't really matter. But just make sure that one of these central midfielders is a central midfielder and the other one is a defensive midfielder. Naturally, we are trying to replicate this kind of Vieira Gilberto role and Vieira obviously that more kind of advanced midfielder that all-rounded jack of all trades kind of really a box-to-box -box midfielder if anything um, but just generally that kind of um, carrier of the team whereas Gilberto Silva obviously that more aggressive defensive minded midfielder this is important because it will get them closer to the defenders when you are out of possession and you're also going to want to change the fullbacks as well this is going to do a really good job of getting them further forward in possession. You'll notice they really stretched the play and kind of got a bit further forward. Helps them to kind of pin back any opposition wingers that might have kind of pressed them out of possession in their own defensive third. Um, so this does really do a great job of doing that as well. We'll keep the midfielders as they are as opposed to changing them to wingers as I found that they like to pick the ball up from deeper and didn't really get as advanced as say like what the strikers will do and with that being said let's talk about the tactical instructions our defensive style we have got pressure on heavy touch allowing you uh, to instigate presses in certain situations when the opposition in game are kind of playing it towards their own goal playing themselves into trouble a bit more there are kind of loose touches that's when it will instigate that the width is down to 10 with this 4-4-2 you're obviously going to want this very compact narrow shape to try and force teams to play around you in the wide areas and then the depth is on 60, obviously giving you a mid block, but on the higher end of that mid block, something that they utilise really, really well because it helped to complement that kind of occasional press that they would instigate, but didn't allow kind of too much room in behind for the opposition, particularly with most teams kind of um, playing for kind of attacking transitions against them and on that counter attack, it did kind of alleviate those concerns. The builder play is on slow build up, meaning that on goalkeeper restarts, you're going to get players showing for the ball, dropping deep into your own area. Players are going to come short to pick up the ball. And then chance creation is also possession to play into that as well. Very calculated and a very measured approach from this team. And it's something that really kind of followed Wenger throughout his entire reign as Arsenal manager. And then the width is on 20. Again, very compact and narrow. This is going to allow you to really get the best out of this 4-4-2 in a possessional sense because of the fact that players are going to really get close together. They're going to condense and they're going to be able to offer those kind of shorter options. So this really does play into the whole possessional chance creation and that slow build up play as well. The players in the box is on six. Roughly, you're obviously going to have generally the two forwards into the box. And, you know, one of the wingers and then sometimes kind of Patrick Vieira will be in there as well. So you're really looking at probably potentially four targets in the box. And so players in the box on six is going to allow you to do that. And then with the corners and free kicks, both of these are on four. Let's talk about the player instructions. With regards to the lineup, I've just gone for the one that I think was probably the best to replicate the system. Could probably have gone for someone like Smith Rowe or Trossard on the left instead of Martinelli to just kind of more accurately reflect Pires more than anything. Um, but I did feel like with that added pace, it, it did just kind of add to the system a little bit more. With Ramsdale in goal, we've got him on comes to crosses, but he's saving outside the boxes on balance. Didn't really notice much in, in the way of kind of them having a sweeper keeper. And with that mid block, there's a little bit less kind of 
requirements for it. The two centre backs are absolutely fine, so you won't need to change them. And then with the full backs, there are a couple of differing roles. With this kind of Ashley Cole role on the left hand side, you've got that kind of out and out, all rounded attacking fullback. Join the attack and an overlap as well and obviously wing back will help that over on the other side at right back you've still got them on join the attack but this time the run type is on mixed because what you've got here is whilst you've got a, a kind of attacking fullback in lauren who would you know generally support those attacking phases you've got someone who wouldn't always overlap you've got that out and out winger on that right hand side of someone like freddie lundberg so with regards to that you don't always need that kind of fullback overlapping sometimes you kind of invert show for that ball in i guess the half channels more um, and so this is really to complement the two kind of wide midfielders that you have got ahead of the fullbacks. With Thomas Partey, who could really play either central midfield role. In this case, we've got him in that more defensive midfielder role. His defensive behaviour is cut passing lanes. They did generally instigate those kind of lane and zonally orientated presses. Particularly helpful in a four midfield as well, where you've only got two central midfielders. You don't want to get, um, you know, kind of play into that numerical disadvantage that you may suffer a fair amount uh stay that whilst attacking as well didn't really want him kind of supporting those attacking phases not drifting from his position and then defensive position is cover center with only two in that central areas as well you are going to notice that you need to make sure um that he isn't getting dragged out wide and position freedom is stick to position now with Vieira over on the other side as that central midfielder you have differing roles here so attacking support is unbalanced not always looking to get uh kind of in beyond the strikers that's not so much his game but would definitely look to support those attacking patterns of play and then support and crosses is getting to the box with the cross and that's what we were talking about earlier with that really what is a box to box midfielder i guess uh, interceptions is on aggressive trying to kind of replicate his style and how He's very much liking to impose himself on the opposition kind of midfielders. Um, and I thought this was the best way to kind of replicate that. And then down the bottom with the positioning freedom, we have him on free roam. He's going to show for the ball in all sorts of areas. It's going to help you to play it from the back because he will drop deeper in those situations, pick up pockets of space. But also when going forward, you're going to find it easier to kind of form those uh, patterns of play because you get more movement. And that really helps you in these possession chance creation systems. Defensive position, as mentioned with uh, Gilberto Silva, is on cover center. Now, with the wide midfielders, we'll start off with Saka, who's playing that Lundberg role on the right-hand side, that out-and-out -out winger this time. He's on comeback on defense to get him tracking back, and his chance creation is cut inside. The reason why we want it on cut inside is because his support runs is on getting behind, and you want to make sure that he's angling his runs in order to kind of supplement Jesus, who we'll talk about a little bit later, playing that kind of Dennis Burkamp role. And any support on crosses is getting to the box for the cross. Now, it is a little bit different with Martinelli over on this side. Obviously, playing that Pires role, you have that kind of hybrid false winger um, who, you know, will look to kind of, I guess, produce a lot of his patterns within the kind of half space in central areas a little bit more. So he's still on comeback on defense, but this time his chance creation is on free roam. Does a really good job compared to cut inside because this time he's really going to kind of pick up those kind of pockets of space in the central areas he'll come deeper a lot more he really does a whole lot more compared to cut inside and his support runs has come short as well obviously not blessed with pace he's not looking uh, to kind of run in behind and penetrate the back line instead he really does his best work in possession of the ball and then support on crosses is also on balance to try and simulate the fact that he did a lot of his work on the edge of the area this time would occasionally get into the box of crosses for sure um but not relentlessly in fact he was often the one along with ashley cole who did produce the majority um, of kind of crosses into the box now with the two front men starting off with gabriel jesus who is playing that kind of dennis burkamp role we've obviously got that really hybrid striker attacking midfielder role so false nine basically uh, so support runs is on stay central and his attacking runs is on false nine pairs really well with having Lundberg on this side as well as the winger cutting inside when burkamp kind of drops he angles his runs penetrates back line um, and fills in that role, fills in the gap that Burkamp has left dropping off. Uh, and then defence support is also on comeback on defence. You only want one striker staying forward, which in this case will be Eddie Nketiah. His support runs on drift wide and his attacking runs on getting behind, replicating that Thierry on re-roll, obviously coming out at times, utilising his pace, but also doing a lot of his work in the half spaces and the half channels, 
which is does a really good job of kind of replicating that as well and so with that being said that is another tactics video done i hope you guys really enjoy this one always fun to kind of de well dive back into kind of the footage of these kind of classic teams and uh, we have got a lot more to come so i really appreciate you guys watching and if you do want to get the most out of this system by seeing how it ranks by seeing pros and cons of the of the tactic and seeing what else we've got suitable teams to play as check out my patreon as i mentioned you'll find the links down below fantastic way to support the channel and i do want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons we've got a record number of patrons at the moment higher than it's ever been before and you guys are keeping the channel alive so i really do thank you so so much for that by joining my patreon not only do you get access to that but exclusive tactics videos as i mentioned early access to videos behind the scenes videos discord server access and a whole lot more check out my twitter the link to that is down below as well and with that being said we are going to round it off there thank you so much for watching everyone and until the next one i will see you soon